guys, it's me Carly, and today I'm going to show you my latest thrift haul. I'll be turning most of these pieces into something else, so stay tuned to hear about that and also to hear about a brand new series I'm going to be starting on my channel soon. If you're new to my channel, welcome! I'm a fashion designer and I make clothing tutorials, upcycling videos and studio vlogs where I show you what goes on behind the scenes at my fashion brand, Carly Rose The Label. So if that sounds interesting to you, then subscribe and hit that bell so that you'll know when a new video goes up. Because I'm not very good at posting consistently, so you won't know what I post a video otherwise. I'm working on it. So with that being said, let's get on with the video. So this haul is from three separate trips, but two of those trips were at the same store. I live on the central coast of New South Wales, so these are the thrift stores that are local to me. Uh, by the way, we call them op shops here in Australia, which stands for opportunity shop, but everybody on YouTube calls them thrift store and, you know, SEO. So the thrift store I go to the most in my area is a Salvation Army store, or as we call them, Salvos. And I go to the West Gosford Salvos and that's where I got two of these uh, shops from. I really like this Salvo store because it's a large store and they've often got different sales and things on based on the colour of the tag on the item. Um, also I just found out recently that they have a loyalty program so that makes it even better. I think you have to buy at least $10 worth of stuff on a shop to get a stamp. You can get one stamp each time you shop if you do that. And then when you have 10, you can go and get 10 items at 50% off. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal and unfortunately I only realised that on the second shop I did so I still only have one stamp but I'll probably be going there enough times to make it worthwhile anyway. So I'll show you what I got from my first haul there. So I spent $17 in my first shop and I got three things. Um, each of these shirts was 6 or $7, I can't remember and I think the tags have disappeared now. But I got this button up shirt from the men's section. I bought this because I like the fabric. The, the way it's dyed, it's got like that stonewash kind of look to it and I just thought this could be something um, to do a fun project with. I was thinking about doing Annika, Annika, I was thinking about doing Annika, I was thinking about doing Annika, Annika Victoria, oh my gosh, I was thinking about doing Annika Victoria's uh, challenge about doing half and half. So maybe cutting half of this top off and putting something else there. But I'm not really sure anymore. I have some other ideas, maybe with some bleaching or something else. And then I also got another button-up shirt. Again, this one's from the men's section and it's like a cool, it's a really cool chambray button-up men's shirt. I've just rolled up the cuffs as well and you can see they've got that like nice, the lighter colour on the inside. Um, and actually at the top on the collar and over the sleeves is like a black cotton or like a charcoal grey cotton. Again, I had some ideas about bleaching this and seeing what would happen because I feel like it could look like that nice washed denim or that kind of look. And this is a really nicely made shirt too. It's from Jeans West, so it's pretty good quality. And then the last thing I got from the Salvo store was <laughs> on my first trip was this pair of jeans. Now, these look pretty bad at the moment, but I'm planning to make a video um, doing something with these and you'll find out about that soon. These were only $4, but they've actually been cut off at the bottom. <laughs> but I tried them on and they actually fit me really well, um, like around the butt. When you come across a pair of jeans that fits you well, it's hard to pass up, even if the bottoms are cut off. So yeah, I've got a few ideas of what I want to do with these. Um, keep an eye out for that video, it'll be coming up soon. So the second time I went to Salvo's, I actually went back yesterday because I forgot I needed more jeans to make more of the Clio panel skirts like in the video that I put up a couple weeks ago. I'll put a link here. But those pants need like, I think it's five different colours, five or six different colours of jeans that I buy specifically to cut up and make into those skirts. So I went and bought more jeans for that. I try to spend less than $10 per pair on those jeans, but sometimes if like, the colour's really hard to find, I'll splurge a little bit more, but I think everything I got this time around was still under $10 as well. This time I spent $28. Okay, so these ones were listed at $8, but I'm pretty sure once I got to the register I realised that everything with the orange tag was 50% um, off, so these were $4. And as you can see there's quite a lot of fabric in them, so they're really good for those um, panel skirts that I make because the bigger the size pants, the more panels I can get out of it, so it's more cost effective. And it's got these cool little buckles on the back, which I might be able to turn into something else for a different project. Then I got these uh, blue 
drill jeans. So drill fabric has like a diagonal line running through it like this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, it's got a really nice texture and I've been trying to find more pants like that to use for those skirts as well. These are quite a bright blue, but um, I think they're pretty cool. These were $7 and again, there's a lot of fabric in them so I can get a lot of panels out of them. Then there's these pants. I was so excited when I found these pants because I've been finding it really hard to get more of this colour. This is the green that I've been using in the skirts and I didn't think I was going to find a second pair of jeans in this colour and I just really like that particular green like kind of has to be in those skirts. It, like I really just think it goes so well. Um, so I found these and I had to get them instantly. And luckily these ones were also an orange, orange tag so they were 50% off as well. So these were only $4. I picked up these, although I'm not quite sure they're the right colour, but I'm kind of mixing and matching a lot of the colours I'm using for those the Cleo panel skirts now anyway, but I got these for the yellow mustard colour that is in them. I think this colour still goes nicely with the other fabrics that I've been using. Yeah, so I'm going to give this a go. If it doesn't work with the skirts, I'll use it for something else. And these were $6. And last but not least, actually my favourite thing from this shop was this pair of pants. And they're quite large, but I would like to turn these into a pair of pants that fit me. I just fell in love with this colour. It's like that real vintage olive green. Um, and they actually say that these are a recycled garment. I'm not actually sure what that means for Vinnie's um, clothing, whether it means it's made from, you know, fabric that they've been donated or something like that. Um, they do say they are polyester and spandex, but they have a really nice, like, suede feel to them. And I just fell in love with the colour and they kind of look like velvet, which I've been loving lately. and. Yeah, this isn't the not the thing, the sort of piece of clothing that I normally go for, like that vintage look. But I am so excited to make these into something that I can wear because the only pants I have at the moment are ripped jeans, and I'm kind of sick of wearing things with holes in them. <laughs> so these were seven dollars, and that is the last thing from Salvos. Okay, now the third shop that I went to was the place where I got the largest quantity of items from. Um, this is a place called Browse About in Long Jetty and it's somewhere that I knew that I had visited once and I couldn't remember what it was called. I could just vaguely remember where it was. Um, it, they don't have a website, they're really hard to Google. I couldn't remember the name before but I finally figured it out, it just came to me. Um, so if you're looking for it, it's on Pacific Highway in Long Jetty and it's near a bookshop. Um, so <laughs> it's near their book exchange. So. Um, it's a really cool shop though because it's quite different. Um, I'm not 100% sure if, if it's a charity, if the money still goes to a charity like with the Salvos, but it, um, I'm pretty sure it's run by volunteers and um, so then I would assume the money would go to a charity. So this place is different because instead of everything being hung up on racks, it's uh, most of the clothes are still in bins or like those really big bags and you just kind of rummage through and pick what you want and they have prices based on how many items you take and I think it was $15 for seven items and I got um, 14 items so I paid I think I paid $30. It means that everything I bought from there cost me just over $2 a piece um, and that even included like a dad cap that I got because I'm planning on doing a tutorial about embroidery on a dad cap as well so look out for that. They didn't have as much stuff that I was looking for, they didn't have many of the different coloured pairs of pants. It's a small shop so they didn't have heaps there but it's really good if you can just find a few um, you know, really good items that you can use because it's a lot cheaper and um, yeah and I was actually able to talk to them about if they find any pants that are like what I'm looking for they can hold them for me in the future so they're going to work with me on that which is really cool. So I'm going to show you what I did pick up from there and talk to you a little about what I'm thinking of making them into. There's two bags. Two big bags. First of all, I got I went through a lot of the men's bins, which for some reason were listed on the signs. It looked like they were listed for cheap, uh, cheaper than the women's bins. So, which is kind of good for me because I love um, turning men's clothes into women's clothes. Um, but I found these jeans, which are the same colour as one of my favourite pairs of jeans that I have, which are Wranglers, but they're like too tight for me. So when I wear them, they're really uncomfortable. 
but I bought these to um, see if I could turn these into jeans that fit me. Oh, and they have these little stretchy cuffs on the bottom and I mean, these jeans will probably be too long for me as they are anyway, but we'll see because I think these might be kind of cool actually. They did have a whole lot of plain t-shirts in the men's bins, which I thought would be really cool for experimenting with restyling them into women's t-shirts, dyeing them, bleaching them, painting on them, things like that. So I just got this plain blue t-shirt. This one, this Batman one, which I thought is cool because it's like a retro Batman symbol. This baseball t-shirt, I love a baseball t-shirt. I don't know if I'm even going to change this one or if I'm just going to put it in my drawer and keep it as something I can wear as it is. And I got this dark blue plain t-shirt too. It looks really bright on the camera actually. I guess it's like a mid blue. I think that's all the t-shirts and now I'm going to show you all the sweaters I got because I got a lot of sweaters. So I got this one which I'm pretty sure is like a school or sports jumper or something. I couldn't find a tag on it but I'm pretty sure it's wool. It's like got that just a little bit spiky feel to it which I think I think I can deal with. I used to have to wear a bright red woolen jumper to school when I was in high school and kind of felt the same as this. It doesn't feel great on your hands but it keeps you really warm so I have some plans to get rid of this patch and maybe put my own embroidery on this. Then I have this sweater which again I might just keep as it is because this is just like a really comfy knitted navy sweater. It's going to be oversized because it's a men's. We'll see. I might add something to this. Who knows. I got this sweater as well which is another grey. It's actually kind of brown grey sweater. But this one's thinner than the other one and it's, um, it's, I don't think this one's wool, it's cotton I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's cotton. So I'm thinking that this one could do it with some embroidery on it. If you've got any ideas for what I should embroider on these sweaters, let me know in the comments. At the moment I'm thinking maybe something floral, but then maybe something like, ooh, what about ladybugs? That would be cute. There's one more sweater. Oh no, there's more. Turns out I got a third grey sweater. This one I think is from the women's box because it's a lot smaller. It's actually fitted. Maybe I'll have to do a giveaway because who needs three grey sweaters? And last but not least of the sweaters, I have this really cute lilac coloured one. Oh my gosh, I could dip dye this. There's so many things you can do with thrifted clothes. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with this one yet, but maybe something to do with dyeing it a different color or not all of it though because i quite like this lilac color we will see then i have only one flannel because i haven't really been picking these up i know a lot of people do thrift these but i guess i've been a little bit inspired by rose soma if you hadn't seen her youtube channel um she also does recycled clothing and she does really cool stuff and she's just launched her own clothing line too which is called another life apparel you should go check it out on instagram yeah i know that she turns a lot of flannels into like she'll cut flannels up and restitch them with other flannels to make them just into cool designs or she'll attach them to hoodies and things like that so i'm sure i can think of something to do with this and i had another idea about turning flannels into a skirt but i think i need more than one so i'm gonna have to find another one if i do that and I was trying to find at least one hat that had a it had to have um, whatever logo was on it already had to I had to be able to take it off so it can't be painted this is just an embroidered on logo so hopefully I'll be able to unpick it um, and B I wanted it to be black and like just a nice fabric and this again is like a drill fabric so um, and you know it's got it's not a snapback I didn't want it to be a snapback. And I am planning on embroidering the front of this. So that'll be in another video too. Keep your eye out. And I thought I would save this one to last because it's probably the weirdest thing that I bought, but you know, when everything's $2, it's like, you can't not take a chance on something like this. I mean, it came in a packet. So this is a men's pajama set, but, um, I just looked at it and I saw the stripes and I thought about those cute little two-piece suits that I've seen a lot on Instagram with the stripy three-quarter pants and the little tank top and I thought 
I wonder if there's enough fabric in this <laughs> to try and make something like that. So I'm going to take it out of the packet now, which I hadn't, hadn't done yet. So it's navy and white stripes. <laughs> it's a little short, so I had to do the sh a, sh a pair of shorts and um, <laughs> maybe just put a proper waistband on them so it's not an elastic. Well, maybe just so they don't look so much like pajamas. There's the shorts. And here, I mean, let's be real, it's really cheap feeling fabric, but I just couldn't resist a challenge. Oh, maybe I should just keep them as pajamas. They're pretty cute. Nah, I'm gonna turn them into something else. Okay, that's the last thing. So that's everything for my thrift haul. As I mentioned, I do plan on turning most of these things into something else so stay tuned for those videos and i asked you guys on my instagram if you were more interested in seeing technical tutorials like sewing tutorials or more upcycled clothing videos and i think two thirds of you said you wanted more upcycling videos so that's what i'm planning to do and that's why i've gone thrift shopping and along with that i've decided to start a brand new series called refashioned now i already have three videos up on my channel where i have kind of taken a piece of clothing and turned it into something else or you know added to it and improved it in some way. I'm going to add them to the playlist but the official first video of this series will be episode 4 and I will be putting that up sometime this week. I've got lots of videos planned over the next few weeks but um, I don't know how often I'm going to upload, I've got to figure that out still. But I'm really excited to bring you guys some new content and to show you guys how I turn old clothes into new clothes and to just give you some inspiration to do that yourself at home. I'm really excited about this new series, I hope you subscribe so that you'll hear when they come out and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and let me know in the comments which of these pieces you are most excited to see me turn into something and just maybe I'll bump that to the front and try and make that video next. And don't forget to tell me what you guys think I should embroider on those sweaters. I've got a few ideas coming around already but there's so many options that I could do. And let's face it, I've got what, five, six sweaters or something that I need to do? So, all right, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.